morning all i am poonam swapnil sadhu working as assistant professor in department of computer engineering aissms iit pune today we are going to this see string java programming a string is a non primitive data type in java string is basically a class which provide different function to manipulate the data which is stored in it a string is used to store combination or string of character some points to remember are string is non primitive data type the size of string cannot be determined string is used to store set of character or array of character string is present in java dot language package string is immutable that is once created cannot be changed or altered ways to declare a string are first by string literal that is the regular way of declaring a variable the string syntax is string a is equal to java class this type of string declaration gets saved in the string constant pool area here each time you create a string literal the jvm checks the string constant pool first if the string already exist in the pool a reference to the pooled instance is written if the string doesn't exist in the pool a new string instance is created and placed in the pool for example string s1 is equal to hello string s2 is equal to hello now when i create the string s1 hello that time it is created in the string constant pool area so second time when i create the string with the same uh, value hello it will first check the string constant pool area is having the same value or not if it is having the same value only the reference to the pool instance is written by new keyword syntax string a is equal to new string hello here java will create a new object in the non pool area if we declare two strings with the same value it will get saved in two different locations for example string s1 is equal to new string hello string s2 is equal to new string hello here string s1 and s2 have the same values but they are being stored at the different memory locations in the heap area in string the character sequence are stored as index so we can call and use the characters of string individually can perform operation on them string index always start with zero and continues so on for example string s1 is equal to new string assms iot so it is stored in the index as zeroth location is a 1 i 2 s 3 s fourth location m fifth location s sixth location would be the space seventh location i eighth location o ninth location i tenth location t string class provide different methods to perform action on the string that is to perform actions on sequence of character that are stored in a particular string few functions or methods of string are listed as caret the string caret function return the character located at the specified index looking at the program here here the string str is studied tonight now i want to print the character which is present at the index 2 so it would be u so i use str dot caret and the index from which character i want to um, specify as the index i will get the output as u length method string length function return the number of characters in a string so here the string is count me so when i use the method str dot length of the string i get the result as 8 as if we count the characters in the string c o u n t 
it is 5 space 6 m7 e8 replace method string replace method replace the occurrence of character with a specified new character now here the string is change me so i am using the replace method of the string class which will replace small m by capital m so i get the result as change me with m capital to lower case string to lower case method return the string with all upper case characters converted to lower case here is a string a a r u when i convert it to lower case i would get the same string with all the small letters now starts with and ends with method the method starts with check whether the string starts with the letters passed as an argument and ends with method check whether the string ends with the letters passed as argument it gives the return value as true or false here i have given the string s as a a r u and i check whether it is starting with a a and ending with u as it is true that it is starting with a a and ending with u so it gives the result as true true in this way we have studied the string class and the methods of the string in java programming thank you